So I got into cycling uh, for health reasons. So I've always enjoyed being outdoors, uh, but a few years ago uh, I made some life choices uh, concerning my health. Uh, I was considerably overweight and uh, decided that I wanted to live for a long time. And the path I was on, I wasn't going to live that way. So uh, in that process, uh, I said cycling uh, became, I had a bike and uh, started just going around my neighborhood and then that expanded out to taking a little bit longer excursions and then uh, cycling in, a, in a, a cycling class, a spin class, then discovered more friends and people actually cycling outside and uh, just continued over that course of the journey just getting me into it more and more and more. So the original journey was five years and uh, original start point and it sort of went up and down just a little bit you know just trying to get into it establish good habits begin to make good life choices you know for me 2020 was something that i did not want to lose the momentum that i had you know building up from the previous years because i don't share it with a lot of people i was actually actually up over 320 pounds around 325 to 335 in that range and that was about five five and a half years ago now and so and you know up in last year when covid hit I had determined inside that I did not want to be, oh no, I'm going to fall back into that. And so actually I think cycling uh, helped get me through some of that because mentally just all the things going on, the anxiety, things going on at work, you know, job, family, life, church, all those things were just, everything was turned upside down. But uh, in some ways cycling was a constant because even though we didn't do as many group cycling events, uh, I was still able to get out my bike and do solo you know around the area and go on those kind of rides so it was really helpful i think that the the, the the support group and your network of friends and your family you know being behind you is is important initially there were some challenges like oh you're going to go cycling this saturday morning kind of a thing uh, and maybe we're used to doing x y or z with the family but beginning to find ways to fit that into my schedule and letting people know that this is a part of what I'm doing for health reasons, it's a part of what I'm doing for my life, it's a part of what I'm doing for our future. Like in a family setting, is like, you know, with my wife, I'm not just doing this because I want to do it, there's all these other benefits. And, you know, I'm, I, I wanna be here when I'm 75 and 80 and together we're living a, a wonderful, healthy life together. And so that was something that I got the support from the, from the home and from my family. And so there was some, there were some definitely areas to work through there, but now my wife's actually very involved in the gym. She doesn't cycle, but uh, she's very much into fitness and uh, herself and getting into uh, like CrossFit and those kind of things. So yeah, but then extended beyond the immediate family. I think would probably be um, just the, the, the folks at the, you know, the spin classes, the folks in the local walk, and I'm in Waxahachie, so my Waxahachie group, you know, the, the group of riders, actually, it's a, it's a Waxahachie group, but we're from Midlow, Mansfield, Grand Prairie, all over the whole area, actually. But just that whole network of people that I begin to tap into, uh, it makes it easy, because they're out there riding, they're, they're doing those things, they're trying to make good health choices. We're all on a very similar journey, but different stages of journey in life, but similar, you know, trying to maintain health, trying to uh, you know, stay healthy. I'm a business owner, uh, I've been doing, uh, been in business for 20 years, uh, and the stresses of being a business owner, you know, a small business owner, and having employees, and just, you know, going through COVID most recently, and all those challenges, uh, it's actually, I, I actually, it's been, a, it's been a, a change for me to say, no, I need this. It's not something that I can just put off, well, not today. I need that for my mental well-being because the stresses, the anxieties, the things we're dealing with, you know, and the finances that, you know, inevitable as a business owner, all those things you're, you're doing, I get out, I get on a bike, and that sort of melts away. As my health begins to increase, the mental part of it begins to increase.